What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sports Reel. Today we're looking at NFL players that started from the bottom. At number seven, Joe Horn. That's Terrell Smith, the fullback in motion, the quick toss, and it's Joe Horn, the leading receiver, met quickly by Marquez Pope. Joe Horn also started his professional football career in the CFL because he was unable to make an NFL roster out of college. However, it only took one season in the CFL for him to earn an NFL contract with the Chiefs, where he spent four seasons without having a significant impact. Once he landed in New Orleans with Drew Brees and company, Horn broke out of a mediocrity and became one of the most dominant receivers in the league at that time. In his six seasons with the Saints, Horn was able to break team records for receiving yard and touchdowns and made four Pro Bowls. At number six, Eli Manning. He's at the top of the screen. Manning was looking that way and now throws that way. The pass is caught. That's Nick wrestled down inside the 25. Yeah, I know. Eli has won a couple Super Bowls and established himself as a top quarterback in the NFL. However, he actually played terrible his first few years in the league and had the big issue on draft day because the Chargers selected him. He was also benched for a whole season. Many Chargers fans enjoyed the struggles Eli had when he entered the NFL, but now all they can do is wonder what if, just as they do with Peyton Manning. Anyhow, Eli went on to have an exceptional NFL career winning two Super Bowls and showed the world that he is his own shadow. At number 5, Peyton Manning. When the great Backs in NFL history are discussed, one name will feature prominently, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning was a highly touted number one pick in 1998. Many were split on whether he or Ryan Leaf would be the better quarterback. Many probably still didn't know what to think in their rookie seasons as Manning threw 28 picks in his rookie season. While Manning showed promise, he caused a lot of turnovers and the Colts went 3-13. Manning was soon able to cut down on his mistakes and became arguably the greatest quarterback of his generation, although our number two entrant on this list might have something to say about that. At number four, Rich Gannon. And we'll see how Rich Gannon answers the broken bone in his throwing hand. Rich Gannon was actually one of the few players drafted on this list, but his career started slower than anyone else by far and he still managed to find a path to NFL stardom. The problem is that his path to becoming a great football player took him three teams in his first 10 or 11 years with nothing but unimpressive results until he joined the Raiders. Once he joined the Raiders, Gannon had a breakout season and continued to improve each season after earning four Pro Bowl appearances with two Pro Bowl MVP trophies and a regular season MVP before his dreadful performance in the Super Bowl toward the end of his career. At number three, James Harrison. When you think of James Harrison, you think of a fire-breathing dragon somebody who's crushing your quarterback. Harrison is another undrafted player who truly had to earn his way to the top of the NFL playing on practice squads for a couple of years before he made an official roster. He was cut multiple times and only played special teams when he finally made the team. Five years after coming into the league, he became a starter and never looked back. Since then, he has been to five Pro Bowls, one Defensive Player of the Year, and one Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers. At number two, Troy Aikman. Team on both sides of the ball. From the 36-yard line and going deep on the first play, and Jason Seahorn. Troy Aikman was taken with the first overall pick in the 1989 NFL Draft and was seen as a savior for a Cowboys franchise going through a dark period. Times would get the darkest before the dawn, as Aikman's rookie season was a disaster. His completion percentage was a lowly 52.9%, and he would throw 18 interceptions to just 9 touchdowns. The team went 1-15. in Luckily, they were able to select Emmitt Smith the following year, and as the team grew around Aikman, so did he, and he went on to have a Hall of Fame career. And finally, at number 1, Kurt Warner. Could there really be anyone else as the number one player? Warner's path to the NFL was long and treacherous with stints in two other professional leagues before getting a shot in the NFL. After going undrafted, he signed with the Packers and was released before the season. From there, it was bagging, groceries waiting for another opportunity. That opportunity was arena football, followed with a European league before landing with the St. Louis Rams. He was third on the death chart and, due to injuries, was forced into the starting lineup in the 1999 season. 
which is where his tough road to the NFL finally paid off. He went on to break multiple records, take the Rams to two Super Bowls, and win one of them. Take the lowly at that time, Arizona Cardinals to the Super Bowl, made four Pro Bowl appearances, one Super Bowl MVP, regular season MVP twice, and also won the Walter Payton Award. Warner had an amazing story and an even better career. From rags to riches. So that's going to wrap it up for this video of Sports Real. Make sure you guys destroy that like button. Comment down below which one shocked you. And subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and have a great day.